kitchen I just have we're gonna make some uh, corn dogs or sausage dogs we're gonna use some uh, Oscar Mayer wieners they have cheese in them and I'm gonna use some of the kibasa that I had from the last recipe that I posted and this is the first time I've ever done this so trying to use up stuff in the stockpile uh, from couponing and so I'm using this here which is cheese garlic biscuits uh, complete mix you just have to add water and it is just uh, one cup of water which is this here measures one cup so I'm adding one cup of water and uh, Sorry, I know I didn't tell you yet. We're going to do it in a cake pop maker. I will tell you, I was not happy with this cake pop maker. I bought it right after Christmas when they all went on sale at Target. And uh, it didn't make good cake pops. Two hot dogs. We're going to do six of hot dog corn dogs and six of the sausage corn dogs. So we're just going to split this in half, and half again, and half again. So that makes six, but these look a little bit too big to really go into that maker uh, correctly. So let's go ahead. We're going to change it, and we're going to keep. Uh, we're going to cut each of uh, the the six ones. Cut cut each one of them in half again. That's going to give us 12. So we're going to do that. No big deal because, you know, it'll be encased in cornbread. It should be okay. I just hope this thing works better for this than it did for the cake that I tried. Now I'm just going to take the sausage, cut it in half, and then take one of the halves, cut it again. You want to always do it with the skin side down. Okay, guys. So, I've heated up uh, the cake pop maker until the green light came on, meaning it's done. It's smoking, as you've noticed. Go ahead and place our hot dog and sausage pieces into the cups. By the way, I don't have a recipe for this, so we're just winging it. I've got our cornbread mixture, and I'm using a two... A teaspoon scoop, but I can already tell I need only half of it. Maybe we should put that down first. This thing heats up way too fast. I really would not, at this point, give a good review on cake, cake pop uh, machines, but we'll see how this turns out. Um, and the reason why I wouldn't is that when I did the cake pops, um, they did not uh, cook right. The bottom was too hot. And the top was not hot enough. And that one way overflowed, but that's okay. It's just going to drip off the side. And we're going to put it down, back into position, and leave it to cook. But I found the bottom of it was too hot. The top wasn't hot enough. Um, and then after I had cooked um, two batches of the cake pops, then it overheated and then it just simply burned the bottom and the top was nice and brown. So I guess we're going to leave this. I'm looking at the clock. We'll give it three to four minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I left it in for about four or five minutes. Um, first lesson learned is let's not put the sausage on the bottom because it didn't get encased. And the problem we're going to have is doing this. Well, this one did, but that's just one. I would suggest unplug it, add about a teaspoon or so on the bottom of it. 
this is just how you figure out cooking. By the way, uh, good lord, I want to say her name's Destin. I'll put her link below. She's the one that got me thinking about it because she was showing how she used her cake pop machine. What did she make? Oh lord, I'm so sorry. I cannot even remember what it was. It was quite a few weeks ago. But she used her cake pop machine for something other than cake pops. And it got me to thinking, as much as I did not like how this machine did when I made the cake pops, that maybe I should give it another chance um, for this. So I'm just going to stick this in and kind of push it down, but don't push it down too hard. Or if you want, we'll try a few different ones just to see. Yeah, I think cutting them in half would be the better idea. Um... Cut the pieces a little bit more. Just gonna, I would suggest this is how you do it. You put each one on top. Unplug it after each batch that you do. So we're gonna plug it in, and then if we were gonna do another batch, we would uh, unplug it before taking out the previous batch, and then uh, replugging it in after we do this part. And then we're going to close her up, and we are going to plug her back in. We're going to give her about four minutes this time, I think. I mean, you just kind of have to make a judgment call on your cake pop machine. I'm going to give it about four minutes, and then I'll probably unplug her, let her sit for another minute or two, and then we'll see what we have. Okay, guys, this has been in for five minutes. And I just forgot to unplug it, but it's unplugged now. So let's take a look and see what we have here without losing the cake pop machine backwards. And it's extremely hot, so please, guys, be very careful. Um, that's a good way to burn yourself right there. Um, so these, they're looking better. We're just going to move those over to my plate, which I'm going to show to you So in this a is our plate. I know, nothing fancy, is it, guys? Hang on, let me back you up a little bit here. Okay. Those are just the extra pieces that I have, which is fine. <laughs> it's funny. The piece that I accidentally dropped, Ross was trying to eat it, but it's too hot for him. <laughs> okay. like, he, like, tries to bite it, and then he quickly jerks away. All right, Stevie, try one of these um, cake pop uh, corn dog munchies. You have to say something. They can't see the thumbs up, dude. Really? <laughs> we'll cut good. one open. I don't know if this is a sausage one or if this is the corn dog. Whoop, that didn't cut very well, did it? Let's try it again. That's good. Just move it over. Something fun you can do with your kids, I guess. See, there you are. Yeah, That's a good one. Table. And, of course, I like mine with a little bit of mustard and a touch of ketchup. And to me, that's perfect. Very good. All right, guys. Stevie, what do you say? Eat, live, and love. Live, love, and eat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>